Hey, welcome to the Linux Classroom. Uh, here we're going to introduce and show you the ls command to list files and folders in your current directory. You just type ls. Very easy. You can also put in a path in there if you want to look at a specific directory. You can either add a relative path like this, or you can add a full path, absolute path if you like, just like that to see those as well. You can look at your files and folders in long list, adding the L option, just like that. It gives you a lot more information about your files and folders if you want. By default, um, ls command does not show things in color like you see here. Uh, this is usually built as an alias. Whoops, I have to spell an alias correctly. See, there's no color there. We can always put that back with the alias command. And that gives us color. So showing that the uh, the color option allows you to do things in color if you like to as well. If you're trying to look at items within a directory, for instance, if we just want to um, list the temp folder there, that actually shows you all the items inside the temp folder. But if you actually add the D option with the L option, now you only see the properties for the temp folder, if you like. LS, lowercase a option, shows you hidden files and folders that are there. I guess I don't have too many hidden files and folders there. If I do that, you'll see hidden files or folders. Those are files and folders beginning with a dot. That's what the A option does. We can go ahead and um, format these a little bit. There's different ways in which we can do this. We can use the format option and look at everything, all the files and directories separated by commas if we wanted to. If we want everything to blend together, we can use the zero option. Don't use this one too often, but you can do that if you like. You can also look at it at each item, one per line, by using the Back one and every now every directory and file are one per line. You can look at inodes if you want with the dot i, the dash i option. We can see the inode numbers. We can put things in reverse order if we like with the r option. We can see that it's reverse alphabetical. We can uh, show the size using the s option. And most of those directories are four kilobytes. It's, that's what they're going to show. We can sort by size if we like using the capital S. So we can see that everything there is sorted by size. We can sort things by timestamp using the T option. And finally, we can show things sorted by extension using the capital X option. Anyway, that's the ls command and several options that it has. There are a lot more. Go ahead and look at the ls man page if you're interested in the ls command. And have a great day.